Oregon Johnson, an urban planner, hold two degrees from Harvard, graduate degrees from Harvard in planning. And I want to first make a statement to Mr. Theodore Craver, the CEO of Edison International. I'd like to say, Ted, this is not a poster child for nuclear disasters. She's my daughter. And she's the most precious thing in my life. What I saw when I watched the Fukushima disaster unfold was a radioactive plume travel so fast and so far. It traveled 5,500 miles in about six days and covered the entire Pacific Basin. Radioactive fallout was detected here in California at 181 times above safe levels at UC Berkeley's Nuclear Engineering Department. We got no word from our authorities that this was occurring. The EPA, the NRC, FEMA, nobody told us anything. We had to figure it out for ourselves, just like today. We're having to figure this out for ourselves, how to defend ourselves against a system that's broken. We have a regulatory system here that does not consider, the NRC does not consider communities outside of the San Onofre power plant boundary as their jurisdiction. They leave that up to emergency responders. But what can an emergency responder do after an emergency, radioactive emergency starts to unfold in San Onofre? Absolutely nothing. We did a quick study of the impacts that a radioactive accident in San Onofre would inflict on surrounding communities. First, by looking at what is called the EPZ, which is the Emergency Planning Zone, it extends 10 miles out from the power plant. There are three cities within that zone. There's San Juan Capistrano, Dana Point, and San Clemente. Just looking at the housing component, the value of the homes, that's your personal nest eggs. It's $47 billion worth of homes that could be lost in a matter of hours. And that sounds outrageous, but that's what we just saw happen in Fukushima, Japan. In other words, FEMA, the NRC, the Interjurisdictional Planning Committee will tell you that they've got an evacuation plan for you. But what they're not telling you is a little surprise at the end of the evacuation, which is that there may be no home to go home to. And what I'd like to ask is that the NRC hold Edison accountable. First of all, to produce the documents that the public wants to see regarding the base data and all the documents related to the replacement of the steam generators at San Onofre. And secondly, to run those steam generator replacement projects through a fully adjudicatory hearing and through a license amendment process with independent experts and testimony under oath. And to not even think about restarting reactor number two before that process takes place. Thank you. Yeah! 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 Ye